I built an obstacle course, and the first person to successfully complete it is going to win the grand prize, $25,000. It's called the Impossible Obstacle Course, and there's only one rule. Do not touch anything oh, red. No! Competitors think that the last obstacle is this warped wall, but as we know, what Please goes up yourself. must no, no, come no. down. The last obstacle is this rope. Climb down this rope successfully with the key to unlock the case, and the $25,000 is yours. Let's see if anyone can do it. Hi, my name is Rob. I'm 33 years old, and I'm from Monterey, California. I drove in just for this. Given my background, the obstacle I'm looking forward to is the tire flip. I'm not here for the money. I'm actually here for the experience and just to meet the great Nick Sims. Hey, bring it huh. in. Best answer yet. All right, first up, it's Rob, the 33-year-old from California. He drove up just for this competition. And one thing I want to mention about Rob and all the competitors you're seeing today is they are attempting this obstacle course for the very first time. Whoever completes this obstacle course must do it perfectly on their first attempt. And Rob is through obstacle one into that safe zone. Now he's looking at obstacle two, the vertical jump test. And up and no, his quad touched the side of the box. Remember, you can't touch anything red. Obstacle two, it looks easy, but it has taken out some incredible athletes, including Rob. Hi, my name is Riley Svithinich. I am 13 years old and I am from Springfield, Oregon. And for training, I like to go to the Northwest Ninja Park. I've looked at the course and the obstacle I'm looking forward to most is probably the 10 foot lache. The obstacle I'm looking forward to the least is probably the tire. If I won the $25,000, I'm gonna be very excited and I'm probably gonna give some of it to my coach so she can buy more pads and stuff. All right, here is Riley, the 13 year old ninja. And I should mention, he trains every day with Jace. Jace, that incredible nine year old we saw last week. These two ninjas push each other daily. And I'm excited to see just how far Riley makes it on this course. Watch that post. There it is, you're good, you're good. Love it. Now here he comes to the pegboard. It looks like he is gonna go with that monkey bar technique. Shout out to the coach of the Northwest Ninja Park. Her name's Sloan, and she trains these kids to be elite athletes. And I have a feeling if Riley can make it through this pegboard, he is going to handle the lache with ease. Nice, he's clean, nice job. Clean transition, and now Riley gets to his favorite obstacle, the lache. These ninjas love laches. A 10 foot lache is no problem for most of these ninjas. Go! Oh! Oh! He's done it! He's done it! Oh my gosh! That was amazing! $100 richer! <laughs> this could be trouble. I should mention I have hidden $100 bills throughout the entire course, and now this young ninja encounters obstacle five, the tire flip. I added the tire specifically to stop ninjas like Riley in their tracks. Can this 13 year old flip this 400 pound tire? Keep that shit up. Yeah, and now you gotta lift. You gotta move it, you gotta move it. Hey, bring it in. Really proud of you. Let's hear for Riley. I'm Simone, I'm 21 years old, and I'm from Arizona. I go here at the University of Oregon. Just 25K just to win, it sounds pretty, pretty nice, but yeah. Here we have Simone, a friend of the channel, one of the most athletic guys I've ever met. If he looks familiar, it's because he is the athlete that absolutely blew apart my speed side competition. This kid has strength, he has wheels, and I'm excited to see how he does on this course. On the pegboard, he seems to be struggling. We've seen that athletes who carry a lot of mass have trouble on the pegboard. If he can get through the pegboard, I know he is gonna make this tire flip look effortless, but this is his challenge. Can he get through the 16 foot pegboard? Oh no, the pegboard has eliminated yet another incredible athlete. Well done, Simone. We'll see you again soon. Hi, my name is Josh. I'm 27 years old, and I'm from uh, California, moved up to Oregon. I'm a parkour instructor at uh, Parkour to Walton. Been doing it for about 15, 16 years. Now. Given my background, I'm most excited about just kind of showing off a little bit and having fun with it. Uh, I'm a little afraid of the slack line because I don't practice that, but I got I got a semi-plan for it. If I win the $25,000, I'm replacing my car engine. It needs it. <laughs> a Kia Forte. Yeah, that's parkour for you. Oh, wow. No! Oh my gosh. That's the first time we've seen that. 
All right, here we have Josh, our very first parkour expert, and I am excited to see what Josh is able to do. Now, as easy as he made those first two obstacles look, he is really struggling with the third obstacle. Maybe parkour doesn't translate that well to the pegboard. Fortunately, he's strong enough to hang on, and he has found a style that's gonna work for him, that monkey bar technique we learned last week from young Jace the Ninja. This is a parkour expert, and I really want to see him on the lache. He said he had something special planned for us. Let's see what it is. No! Oh! Wow! He dynoed pegboard to the lache. We haven't seen that very often in this course. And now, what is he doing? Oh, just resting a little bit. What does this kid have planned for the lache? Oh! You're not gonna fly and squirrel this, are you? I have no idea what you're doing. Don't worry about it. What is happening? No, 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 no. Please don't hurt yourself. Oh gosh. Oh gosh! Oh! Oh! I can't afford Oh! That was one of the most athletic things I've ever seen. That was close. Thank you for trying that. Uh, hi, I'm Kyle. I'm from Eugene. Uh, I'm 29 years old, and I'm here to represent all the landscapers in the valley. Oh, yeah. Uh, the hat is uh, from my landscaping company. Uh, for training, I like to uh, climb trees in the backyard. Based on my skills as a landscaper, I pick up 150-pound bags of sand all the time. That tire is my jam. But I'm nervous about the slack line. That really looks tough. If I win the $25,000, I'm gonna be traveling all over Asia. Landscaping, yes! Landscape the hell out of this course. Let's see. You got it. Oh, 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 it's, you're good, you're good, you're good. Nice, good recovery. Good recovery. All right, Kyle, the 29-year-old landscaper, he is struggling just a little bit on this first obstacle, the quintuple steps. They are slick. Let's see how he does on obstacle two, the vertical jump test. Oh, and he went with the splits and his foot just grazed the side of the box, but that box is red. Sorry, Kyle, you are eliminated. Hey, my name's Dylan. I am- Jim Shark Dylan. Jim Shark Dylan. You guys know me from arm wrestling. I'm 20 years old and I'm from North Bend, Oregon. Based on my training, I'm most excited for the next obstacle. Whatever it is, yep. you're ready for anything. Yep. If I win the 25,000, I am going to invest some of it. Uh, that way I can uh, retire. That's gonna be really smart. Jim Shark Dylan, show us what you got. With the Nike shorts, oh, Nike shorts on Jim Shark Dylan? Come on, Jim Shark Dylan. Here's Jim Shark Dylan on the quintuple steps, moving slow and steady, but making it look really good. I love this kid. He loves fitness. He works out every day. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. While he navigates these obstacles, I have to tell you about a new challenge that Jim Shark Dylan is going to absolutely love. And you're gonna love it too, because anyone anywhere in the world can participate in this new challenge. And one of you is going to win the grand prize, $1,000. The new challenge is it's called 30 Days to a Bigger Bench Press. That's right, I've written a 30-day program that is guaranteed to improve your bench press. This challenge begins on April 1, so you'll need to be signed up before then. I've added a link in the description below so you can join this fun challenge. But back to the course and look at how far Gymshark Dylan has made it. The first two obstacles were no problem for this talented athlete. Let's see how he does on the pegboard. Oh, he missed a peg. You can't miss a peg if you're going to use this technique. Come on, Dylan, hang tough. Oh, and he touched the lava. Great try, Dylan. See you in the bench press challenge. Hi, my name is Lucas Vithanich. I'm 15 years old and I live in Springfield. For training, I like to rock climb and I like to do ninja at the Northwest Ninja Park. Given my ninja background, I'm least excited for the tired, but I'm still fine. Here we have Lucas, a 15-year-old ninja. He trains at Northwest Ninja Park as well. And one thing that has me really nervous for my $25,000 is that Lucas is old enough and strong enough to flip that tire. If he can get through these first few obstacles, flip that tire, I am pretty sure he's going home with $25,000 in his pocket. Look at him tear through this pegboard. Sloan, you teach him that? <laughs> Literally just putting on a show, this is nothing for this ninja. We need a clean transition from the pegboard to the lache, and yes, he has done that. Now watch him on this 10-foot lache. I can't imagine this is gonna be a problem for a ninja like Lucas. 
Baby Lachey, easy. Now show me a big 10 foot gap. Here we go. Yes. Huge Lachey, he's done that. Now he gets to the tire. He says he doesn't think it's gonna be a problem for him. Let's see how he does. 400 pound tire versus 15 year old Ninja. Keep your chest up, keep your chin up. Get low, get low. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Attempt one did not go as planned, but he hasn't touched anything red yet, so we're gonna let him reset. <laughs> you got it. Chin up, chest up, and get low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up and over, and over, and over, and over. And, and this is it, he has it. He just has to get under it. Flip that tire, and oh no, as the tire came back down, it forced him out of bounds. He is eliminated, but don't worry, he wasn't injured. Hi, my name is Che. I'm a climber runner and I play underwater hockey. You've never heard of it. Underwater hockey, you play like, it's like the end of a hockey stick and then you just hold your breath and then other people are trying to push the puck on one side of the pool and then you're trying to push the puck on the other side of the pool. If I win the 25,000, I'm going to get a new car. And here we have Che, the very first underwater hockey player I have ever met, but he's also a climber. You can see him in those climbing shoes. Let's see how those two skill sets combine here on the Impossible Obstacle Course perfectly done. You are safe. And boom, Che is through obstacle one, onto obstacle two, vertical jump test, and he's done it. I'm sure those underwater hockey skills will be useless for him on this pegboard. Let's hope those climbing skills come in clutch. Che off to a slow start on the pegboard, but he does seem to be established and comfortable. There is no time cap on this course, so he can go as slow and steady as he wants. He just can't touch anything red. Onto the last peg, he needs a clean transition from the pegboard to the lache, and he has done that. All right, here we go. We need yes. a big lache, 10 foot gap. Big Can Che do big it? a swing and a big tip. Come on. Reach. Oh, oh, you good? I'm good. Yeah, good try. Hi, my name's Daniel Brogley, and I'm from St. Helens, Oregon, and uh, I'm 30 years old. My background is parkour. I've trained it for 15 years, and it's absolutely my life passion. From my parkour experience, I would say the obstacle that I'm looking forward to the most is probably the lache, but I'm not gonna lache it. If I won $25,000, I would 100% spend it on starting my own parkour gym. Here we have Daniel, another parkour expert, and gosh, these parkour athletes are so good on the quintuple steps. They're also pretty good on the vertical jump test, and I'll tell you what, one of the things I was most excited about Daniel's interview is he said if he gets to the lache, he's not going to lache it. How is this guy gonna get across a 10-foot gap without a lache? Let's find out. Daniel has made easy work of the pegboard, clean transition onto the tower, and now he needs a lache, but he said he's not going to lache, and what is he doing? Wow, you're not gonna flying squirrel this. Please don't hurt yourself. Please don't hurt yourself. I'm so nervous right now. Oh, 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 oh. I think what Daniel had planned was to jump from bar to bar, but now he may be going back to the traditional lache. Wow, this will be easy for him. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, oh, great try. My name is Jackson, I'm 30 years old. I'm from Seaside, Oregon. I'm a surfer, adventurer, I love being outside, and I uh, saw this was a cool challenge, so I decided to challenge myself and see how far I can go. Nick, you and I met on the sideline of American Ninja Warrior back in Venice. I don't know how long ago it was, and uh, you went right before me, and you actually didn't complete the course, and I'm like, well, I have no chance because a gold medalist or whatever you are. I'm like, well, never gonna make it, so. Based on my background, I'm most excited about the warp wall. I'm used to attacking things full speed, but I'm just ready to tie this course in knots. If I win 25,000, I'm flying to Fiji, and then on to Auckland, New Zealand with my uh, beautiful bride, Megan. All right, here we have Jackson, the 30-year-old adventurer, and two Two interesting facts about Jackson. Number one, I met this guy in 2015 on the set of American Ninja Warrior season seven, and he absolutely kicked my butt. Fact number two, we bonded on that set over the fact that we are both Eagle Scouts. I love this guy. I want to see him do well, and I think he has the skill set to tear apart this course. He made the first two obstacles look easy, and now on the pegboard, he says he's put on a little weight in the last seven years since we saw him on American Ninja Warrior, but he's still moving through it pretty effectively. It may be slow, but this guy is strong. Uh-oh. 
Big jump. Big jump. Ooh, another dino onto the tower. He has to get from tower one to tower two. It's called the Lache. Let's see if he has it. Come on. Obviously, he understands the technique here. He's building up a ton of momentum. Oh no, he just barely misses it. Great try, Jackson. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, my name is Ben Wales. I'm 33 years old and I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. First of all, nice hat. Thank Where'd you. Where'd you get that? Got it from your website, Good, of course. NickSimmons.com, all right. Yeah. Fellow bison in the house. For training, I like to do rock climbing, ninja warrior, parkour, and beach volleyball. Given my background, I'm most excited for the pegboard. I'm least excited for the tire flip. I've been on American Ninja Warrior one season. I finished the city qualifying course, made it through the next course, made it through the first course in Las Vegas, and then fell immediately on the first obstacle in the second course. If I win the $25,000, I'm gonna pay off some credit card debt and maybe take my wife on a nice vacation. All right, here we have Ben, the 33-year-old ninja from Minnesota, and I think he's gonna do well on this course, not because he's been on American Ninja Warrior before, but because he has that awesome autographed bison hat. If you guys want one, they are available at nicksimmons.com, but here, Ben is making light work of the first three obstacles. Quintuple steps were nothing for him. Vertical jump easy, and now on the pegboard, the only thing that could be tough is this transition. He needs to get from the pegboard to tower one without touching that upright, and yes, he's done it. He's earned a quick rest. Let's see how this ninja handles the lache. Reach, nice. Wow. Okay. He said he was nervous about the tire. Let's see how Ben does on obstacle five, the tire flip. It was muddy before. I at least washed the mud off for you. That'd have made it even tougher. Chest up, chin up. Wow. 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 There it is, Ben showing that he too is bison strong. Up onto the tire, now he needs to deal with the slack line. Only one human has successfully completed this obstacle before. Ben is not speed running the slack line, but bringing in absolutely perfect technique. Look at how he keeps his core engaged, arms wide. He could slack line way longer than 16 feet, but he made it and now the only thing that separates Ben from $25,000 is this warped wall. Explode! Ben has done it. He has climbed the warped wall and he has the key to the safe. But what goes up must come down. Ben has to descend this rope without touching anything red. It is the secret eighth obstacle. Can he do it? can be done, you know what I want to see? A speed run. World-class ninjas versus the impossible obstacle course. Fastest time wins 10 grand. That video drops March 31st. Hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on. You don't want to miss this one.